What's up guys, Warlocks will back here and today no we on that Q block and I have good news. I got asked in the comments, yo, when's the next fucking stream? I was just thinking about that. You know what? It's gonna be tomorrow. Or I guess later today. Um this video is coming out Saturday. It's gonna be Saturday night, like basically twelve o'clock EST Saturday around like twelve, twelve thirty. Those if you want to count it Sunday morning, but that's what I'm planning on streaming, unless something comes up. Um if something does come up, I'll post about it on Twitter. So go follow me there. It's at World Expo. You can see on the top of your screen on the top left, you know what I'm saying? And uh yeah, anyways, with all that being said, let's just jump right into the first game of Rutgers. I'll see y'all there. Paladin. Fucking hate Paladin. Uh this is actually a kind of good hand against Paladin. Uh yeah, I'll keep this. The files are really good against Paladin because their hero power summons one health guys, so they're normally at least two damage. And normally if they're two, it like is actually hitting like four. Oh, that's actually a fantastic draw. This this hand is starting to look okay, that's a pretty shit draw, but this hand minus that looks actually not bad. Fence Demons on three, hopefully hits a void collar. You know. Chilling at that point. Um, if he doesn't play anything, um, a really good card to draw would be, uh, Dirty Rat, because then it might be combo, and y'all know if it's combo, then you... Oh my, I drew, oh my god, this hand is... Oh my god, this is... This is actually kind of looking dirty. Just a little bit. Um, I mean, sure, Melganis could have been better as an Enhanced Red Lord, but... I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> uh... Dark Space is also like this hand is this hand is shipping up pretty fucking good, pretty fucking good. Anyways, with this great hand, you know you need to have a great fucking drink. So I hope y'all have a drink. I got me a Coke, not not the white powdered kind, just the regular kind, the the, the Coca Cola, the the I don't know what else I can call it. Um. I'm actually thinking here about the filing or the Dark Skies or even Plague. They're, I think they're all pretty good, but I think I would rather wait one more turn for the sole reason that I could theoretically hit here. He plays another guy, I defile, then it's three damage to everything, which would be really, really solid. Here's Challenger. Oh, shit, okay. So yeah, this becomes now really fucking good. Since it's 10 and this is exactly 10 health. That's, like, actually kind of insane. It works out really good for me, so... I ain't gonna complain. And I hit the Dreadlord. I fucking... This card is so good. I fucking love it. Oh, and the... Oh my god, the skull is actually a nuts draw. This deck might not actually have an answer to this. And if they don't, I mean, cubing this is like... Hit, hit, cube. I would actually kind of like to drop Skull, but I think Cubing might just be better here. So, one. I can have a... One, two, I don't have three for Defile. That's not the best. I mean, I think this is the right play, though. Uh, here you could argue to Plague. I don't really think I need it. Right now, I'm... I think I'm happy just playing it slow. That deck should probably not have any silence. It'd be very weird for a Paladin deck to be playing silence. Um... My guess is he's a combo deck. Looking at the cards he's playing, it looks a little off from the typical combo list, but it definitely does look like a combo list. It hit. I think here's just a skull turn. Yeah, I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be a skull turn. Depending on what he plays, of course. If he plays something. I mean, even. I could just still go. Oh, uh, that's. Why does that set the health to one? Uh, I hate drawing this with skull. Hit, hit, that's a 1, 2. Uh, 
I can do this plague. That's another play, like, that's not necessarily that bad. I like the plague play, I think. I have such a big board if I plague here. I'm waiting to see if I can hero power if I pull Melganis. I don't, okay. Uh, I don't think it's worth risking it. Again, due to not playing Nazoth, I can't really just go uh, play Gul'dan in two turns, which kind of sucks. But also, like, Melganis here is a lot of fucking damage. Oh, so it is a combo deck of some variety. Oh, my guess is it's... Remember we played against that one guy that was playing that very weird um, OTK deck? My guess is it's that. The one that, like, Molten Giants or... Uh, Sovala, Sovala, and Holy Wrath. That's what this is making me think of. But right now, we're pretty close to fucking. We're two damage off lethal. What's. Where are we? He's almost dead. Fun fact. Uh. Yeah, he is just actually almost dead. And he might have. Like, he burnt to Consecrate, which is really good for us. It means the possibility of a quality consecrate is much lower. Um, even I don't think he's actually playing a second copy. It kind of looks like he's playing Highlander. If he is, he's playing a Highlander combo deck. In which case, he's weird. The only one that really works for that is Priest because Priest only needs one of each. Okay, so Pyro quality. Yeah. Okay. So it's a Holy Wrath combo deck. Yeah, that's fine. If he draws all of his combo pieces, he loses, though. Ooh. Up here. Um. I don't think I could set up in a way where I can cube Malganus, right? One. Three. Four, then. I can put him just really low, but I don't think that's good enough. Oh, I really wish there's a way I can cube this. To play around whatever he has in hand. I think... I think this is the right play. I believe this is the right play. There's, there was no way to kill off the cube to get double Malganus. If there was, that was the play 100% of the time. Like, if I had drawn Plague, the play there every single time was cube Mal punch him in the face with everything, cube Malganus play. Plague. Um, so, basically what he did is he tried to kill this last turn, which means he probably has the combo in hand of going guy that puts the most expensive card on the top of my deck, Holy Wrath in the face. So, I want to get as many... Uh, Melganesis as possible. So, yeah. If you would have killed it, I was the play was also just to play uh, Gul'dan, because there was no coming back really for him at that point. Um, the odds are is that I would have summoned... Uh, what's his face? I would have summoned a um, Melganis. There were five demons that died that had two on board, or two minions on board. No, three minions on board. So, the odds were there that I would summon Malganus. Um, and then also I'd be above 20 health. So that means Molten Giant would not have been lethal. It would have had to be exactly Shavala. So, I was in a very good spot either way, really, when you think about it. Um, but anyways, that was a pretty solid win. Let's just jump right into the next game. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Oh, fucking rogues. I'm actually surprised there was nothing in Kingsbane that got hit with the nerfs. As far as I'm remembering, right? Nothing in Kingsman actually got hit. That's kind of annoying, actually. The deck was really, really... Oh, no. Secret Passage got hit. What am I saying? I just wish there would have still been more shit that got hit. The file is super good against Rogue. Like, super, super good. So, he mulled everything. He Baku didn't trigger, so there's like a 100% chance it's 
Not a lot. Okay, there's like a 95% chance it's uh, Kingsbane. Um, the reason I won't say 100 is because there are a couple people playing like weird thief lists. They're not great, but they're, people are still playing them because people enjoy playing decks that are not necessarily meta. See, like, this is not Kingsbane, as far as I would know. Um, I guess I'll just tap here. The end of your turn, copy uh, Add copies of all cards here for your hand. Okay. My guess is this is probably some form of combo deck. Maligos. I guess it's a Maligos deck. My hand is actually really, really, really good. Uh, from the Void Collar to the Skull with Double Demons. There's your anti um, combo card. I think I can actually take the four here. Because like, I'm going to take four here. I'm going to be down at uh, 21. Or, sorry, 19. Then I get to trade this in Enhanced Dreadlord. Or, well, I don't know what it's going to pull, but, you know. Also, this way I get to do trade, I can do defile. Uh, Red Lord. I'm just gonna go with this. I think this is the safest play. I'd have really liked to play Sense Demons here because if there was a very high odd, it would have summoned me an extra guy. But the only card he has to deal with this is Vanish. And if he vanishes, I'm pulling them back anyways, so. Yeah, that's fine, I get to pull it back for free. See, like, that's what I was thinking, is that most likely whatever he's going to do, so now he's just going to trade into Melganus here. Which is fine, he bounces this back as well. He trades into Melganus. Unless he has another Shadow Step. Or a Sap. Okay. Oh, so it's mill. Okay, that's fine. As long as I don't mill Gul'dan, I'm fine. I'm gonna mill Gul'dan, aren't I? Oh no, I don't- I can't actually mill for a draw for turn, which is really, really nice with this deck. Um... Nothing at one, huh? Hmm. There's nothing at one. That's so awkward. I can attempt to pull something that's at one. Hey, Yolo. Hey, something at one. Uh, I don't really want to sense demons here. I can give him. I know exa this is a uh, evasion, by the way, his secret. Um, yeah, I think I just pass here. I don't really want to play this. I don't think playing this is the right play. I'm still protected from Cold Light Oracle. So unless he has exactly Cold Light Oracle Shadow Step, I'm chilling right now. I'll punch him in the face for five here. Okay, of course. So I proc the evasion with this. And I don't really play cards this turn. Oh, I could actually play this. I think this is actually super good. This is pulling one of my two demons. Another dead card. Okay. I 100% thought that was invasion, by the way. Or evasion. Again, if he has exactly, what is it called? Um. Fuck, I can't even think of the name. Um, Vanish. He's in like an okay spot. But then, even then, I still don't burn a card. He has to have... He can't even do Vanish into... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> he says that just for me to resummon it. It's a good meme. It saves him 5 health, to be fair. But... That was a really solid draw. I guess that's... Beat Death? Yeah, so this is cheat death then. So basically he's going to play a cold light oracle, hoping that I kill it. But then I don't, and I just continue punching him in the face, so that just never triggers. 
And uh, we beat Milrogue. We do that. We do do that. Hey, yo, we, we popping off right now. I forgot to update the win rate. Uh, I'm going to update the win rate, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Lady Vosh. Shaman. So there's like two different Shaman decks I think it can be. One is an aggro deck. One is the deck I was playing on stream, which is more of a weird combo deck. My, my list tried to pull off infinite Cthulhu's. Uh, his can be infinite shadow walks. Um, if he keeps the left card in his hand is basically what tells us is there's no way you're playing Highlander unless you're going, um, quest. So keeping the left card in his hand, if he does that, or if he doesn't, uh, tells us a lot actually. Although that Highlander deck was a lot of fun to play. It wasn't good. I, I, I had a stupid negative win rate with it, but it was super fun to play. It was actually one of the most fun I've had playing a deck in a long ass time. Actually, no, Dead Man's Hand was really, really fun to play, but it was it was a different type of fun. It was a fun where you know, like every single other person you beat was just like, "I'm proud of that guy for not looking up a deck," and then everybody you lost to, you're just like, "Well, you see, I'm playing a deck that is so bad it's on no tier lists." So like, okay, yeah, so it's aggro. So, Gan tells us it's aggro. If it didn't, and he kept a left card in his hand, we, I would think it's uh, Highlander. And if well, Gan didn't trigger and he mauled the left card in his hand, I would think it was aggro. So, I was right hedging my bets and keeping the Defile. Defile is actually such a broken. I fucking... I want them to print more cards like Defile. A card that's like the 2000 IQ of a card. You know what I'm saying? Um... I think I actually just tap here. So, yes, most of the time it's probably correct to, like, coin uh, Dark Skies. But here, if he plays the Lackey, Hero Powers, and does almost anything else, I can just defile it. Or else, I could also just Dark Skies it next turn. It's... I think it's fine, basically. Then he's gonna play the Lackey, most likely. 1-1? One, one. He high rolled on the totem. Oh, he's super high rolled. Okay. In this exact scenario, I guess it was correct to Dark Skies, but the odds of him having both of those and the Totem Golem was very, very low. Still nothing yet. See, this was one of those games where I needed to have a Void Caller. If I would have coined out Void Caller here, I might have been fine. Because Void Lord is a very, very powerful card. But... I just have to pray that this kills some amount of guys. Huh, that was worst possible rolls, actually. It never hit this one once. This worst would be if he had one thing that stayed at one health, but... It's still super fucking bad, but now this just heals everything. Actually, I would have wished this died. Uh, playing a lackey here is really dumb for him. He just doesn't care about... Yeah, he just gave zero fucks about the card Defile. He was just like, yeah, Defile is not a real Hearthstone card. Guess what it is, buddy. The reason I play this here is, even if these two are minions, I have a 60% chance of pulling a lackey. Which is advantageous for me. It's less value he gets. Like, this was a lot less value for him. Pull three. Just play for not hero firing first. Sure. They always high roll. Um, Defile would be really good. All I asked for. I'm finlining here because this becomes really fucking powerful at the moment. Um, I need one... If I can survive this next turn, I'm fine. Is how I see it. I know that's a little weird to say, but I honestly think I'm fine if I can survive this one last turn. Because then I can have coin... I coin out my... 
Um. So what could his hand be? He played a crackle. So okay, worst case scenario right now is this. It has to be even cards. So crackle. Ah, uh, crackle. I don't know what else, but I kind of want to be safe. And the safe play is this. This is a super safe play. Hot Totem is fantastic. I'm not sure what he could have had. I know Crackle could be one of these two cards because he's been keeping them for a while. Uh, so I just wanted to play as safe as possible. And I'm just hoping they're not Hex. Because that deck could theoretically be playing Hex. Hex would just be really, really bad for me. This is just really, really good for me. Uh, if it is Hex, though, I'm... I might just lose on the spot. Um, not quite lose on the spot, but definitely not in a good position. Okay. So I'm in a good position. Uh, that could be Crackle. Okay, no. So he's probably hitting that with Gen, is my guess. That's a really insane draw as well. I'm going to play it super greedily here because I think that's the way I win. And I kill one of these. Uh, doing this trade just meant that those three things hit into here. Now this is going to hit there, that's going to hit there, that's going to hit there. I think that's slightly better. Because again, killing these things is also something he doesn't want to do. Because if he kills both of these, that's 10 health for me. Okay, that's fine. Right, so I guess now he can do this, but... I didn't even know, <laughs> I did not think he was playing this card. So I take four here, but I have two five fives that gain me five health when they kill both of these guys, and I drop a three nine taunt, and I think he can see it. My hand right now is very much in that realm of I can just make you concede. I gain, I actually think I hit these here. No, uh, yeah. The reason I hit these is because Crackle is still very, very fucking, uh, no, I'm gonna gain 20 health. What am I saying? Hitting those is better. It's better against exactly Hex if he top stacks that. Because he could Hex this, poke it with one of those, and then I'm taking, what is that, 13? Sure, it's not lethal, but it's still very scary, you know? I don't normally just want to take 13 fucking damage. Uh, so hit, 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 yeah. I can play this super safe and super, like, not greedy, if that makes sense doing this trade and then doing this and this uh he should concede here i think uh also this is one of those matchups where you can just drop gold on as soon as you think enough demons are dead so that's that's what this is looking like. that's that's a fairly good card not gonna lie for him to top deck uh, that's actually very awkward Actually, I should have known exactly that was the only he's going to get. Um, let's make things a little bit less awkward for next time. This. I don't know why he's staying in this game. Um, he has one card in hand every single turn, and I'm at full health. I think he might concede, though, when he sees Gul'dan. So I might just drop it next turn, trade away this. Ah, uh, this isn't dead. Oh, he's going to concede now. Uh, that's... That's a great feeling. I love shitting on the aggro players. Makes me feel good on the inside, you know? Uh, yo, we, we fucking popping off today. Uh, alright, so we have time for one more. Uh, let's just queue that one up. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Okay. So, thinking about what Warlock it could be. Um, I guess it's it's Zoo. Either it's Zoo or it's the Mirror. Um, either way, I like this hand a lot. This hand looks like a very, very semi-okay keep. Um, because against Zoo, you don't really want these. But I see these are actually insane against Zoo. Not only do they give you a card, but they combo so well with this card. So, a lot of the Zoo early game plays have two health. Defile only does one to things, right? So, with the help of these, Defile is now doing uh, two to things. Well, three, because they'll have three health guys. Uh, seven. 
I tap him at eight, so okay. This is the play here. Let's poke. Uh, we didn't see a void caller, which is very unfortunate. But right now we have a of all the demons, it's a 50-50 drawing them. If we draw another sense demons, it's like a 100% almost. Okay, so it's the mirror match. Uh, this is typically decided by who plays better. Right now, we're kind of getting cucked by our deck. And we should theoretically be favored due to having drawn uh having drawn sense demons but having not hit void color we're not actually favored uh it sucks but it's it's true it 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 really is true never mind we're actually just uh really good at this video game and we uh top deck the void color every time oh okay, he has a skull Skull is arguably better. But we've paid like every single demon. Um This also looks super weird. But I believe this is the right play. So he's gonna be pulling one demon out. So Dreadlord, I'm able to hit hit hit. Rock the Dreadlord. And then have uh Rock one Dreadlord. Really, you're playing demonic stuff. I don't think that's correct, especially if you're running Gul'dan. Because you might just hit a shitty-ass demon, and then you're very, very sad. I like this play. This is like a super aggressive play, but I really like it. It makes my board super good in comparison to his. Yeah, like... You just wasted a turn worth of fucking skull because you're playing demonic studies. I guess it does make things like Void Collars and Enhanced Shred Lords cost less. I don't necessarily think that's what you want. I think you're happier just pulling them with skull or whatnot. Because, like, this was really weak for him to pull with Skull. Right? Um, we need to start tapping, though. He also has to be careful, because he's really close to dead. I have 13 damage. He's 2 damage away. If I'm playing Happy Bomb in my list, I have Lethal. Is something that should be passing through his mind right now. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. The thing that not a lot of people, you'd be surprised, don't think about. They don't think about, ah, can my opponent kill me? And that's how come you see a lot of people just like randomly have lethal. There's a lot of people just don't think to look, huh, can my opponent kill me? What possible cards can my opponent have to kill me? Like Finley right now could theoretically also be lethal. Right? Finley can get me one of the three hero powers at deal one. I guess no, he gained five, but like it's you you have to really think. That's fine. Uh, one. I can't do a two. I'm gonna do a different one though. Let's tap first before looking for a defile. That's an insane draw. We can't actually get to a 2, but then we don't have a 3. Hmm. It's very awkward. It's very awkward that all of these things have the same amount of health. They can't leave this alive, and I also kind of want to just hit face. Yeah, let's make that twist another really awkward. You can take choose to take advantage of Bran or Twisting Nether. Twisting Nether with a very, very high likelihood of just killing you. So even if he goes, hits Void Caller or Void Lord, I'm still in a very, very good position, is how I see it. So yeah, you can proc one of those. You can trade in your other guy to... 
wipe my board. Looking for a defile. You have to be very, very careful with the file because both of these are going to summon big things. Five. That's a. There's no one now. So we need to have another one. Or you just looking to twist another, in which case, hit, 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 hit. Either way, that's like not great for him. Okay. That's very awkward for him. Um, if this was either of the other demons in my hand, it was like, not, like, it was like so much better for him. Uh, even this though. Oh no, these would have died. He's hoping for it to hit there. Either way though. Shut up though. Haha! -ha! We out big brained him. We are the 10,000 IQ player. We are the players that now just hit Gold seven. Climbing out of plat was harder harder than climbing in diamond. Uh we have two hundred gold though, so we are gonna open a pack. We we're actually getting we are much closer than I thought. We're not really that close, but we're still fairly close to a thousand wins with Warlock. Um I think I did have this conversation though already on stream, but I guess I can add it here again. I'm not a fan of the a thousand win portraits. Um I don't know if it's just because, like, nostalgia or whatever, but my favorite ones are the original ones. Like, the original golden ones? I don't really like the other ones. I would like one day to have all of them golden, but that's... That's a lot of games. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're fairly close with two classes, which is really nice. Um, does it tell you? Uh, Druid, I think I'm at 800. Doesn't tell, it only tells you the ones that you're missing XP in. It's only three classes. It's I'm probably never gonna hit it with this one because I just have no interest in actually playing this class. This is like such a sad number of wins, especially compared to the arena wins. But yeah, um, I'm fairly close if I'm not missing to Druid. I don't think I have a Druid deck built. Oh, I do. Oh, I can't hover it. Um, sure. Yeah, see, we're at 838. So then we have 720. Um, this is probably going to be the next one I'm going to build, honest, or the next one I'm going to finish, uh, to, to 500, I think. I did not realize I was this close with Rogue. Uh, I don't know that how that happened. But anyways, uh, with all that being said, uh, I hope y'all had a good time watching the video. I hope y'all had a good time. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, rep the gang, and I'll see you guys in the next one where, hopefully it continues going this smoothly, bro, like, that was like what five games? No, four games. Nineteen, twenty, four games. That we just like crush. Like they were not close. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Peace.